you're too expensive. While this isn't what we want to hear from a prospective client, what we say next is going to determine whether we make or break the sale. To start off the video, here are two things that I think you should know that are gonna help determine how you wanna go about talking to potential clients about your prices, especially if they tell you that you're too expensive. The first thing to note is understanding your prices and the costs that are associated with your services. Now let's say you're a wedding videographer and you charge a client $4,000 to film their wedding. Out of that $4,000, you need to be able to have a general idea of how much of that is gonna to go towards taxes, transportation costs, rental equipment, and even a second shooter if you need one. By having a basic understanding of what your costs might be for your services, it's gonna help determine whether or not you wanna proceed forward with any kind of negotiation. Because at the end of the day, you still wanna be able to make profit for you and your business. The second thing for you to note is your emotions. Much like impulsive buying, where you see something you really want, but you know is too expensive and you buy it anyway. The same applies here in a sales perspective. Take for example, you have a conversation with a potential client that wants to hire you for your services. They've seen your work, they know you do a great job, and you start having a good long conversation about different ideas that you can come up with for the service. And when you start talking about your prices, they may come back and tell you that you're too expensive. And if that happens, it may trigger you to become desperate and even nervous because you've already committed so much time and effort into talking to them and brainstorming these awesome ideas that you may allow your emotions to get the best of you and actually trigger yourself to slash your prices however low you have to, to close the sale. And this is not a healthy habit to have because if you allow your emotions to get the best of you and they start slashing your prices just because somebody else doesn't like what you charge, then you're gonna end up either making very little money or making no money at all on the service to the point you may even go out of business because you just don't have any control over your emotions when you're negotiating a deal. By knowing these two things I've already mentioned, this helps give you a better understanding on how you can approach this conversation the next time a client tells you that you're too expensive. But now comes the fun part. How do we implement what we already know now into closing a sale? Especially when a client tells you those dreaded words you're too expensive. The first thing to consider is negotiating by lowering your prices just a little bit. Now, this may not be the best option, especially if you know that your costs are gonna be so much that by lowering your prices, you're not gonna really make any money. Now, let's say you're not willing to negotiate a lower price on your services. You know that if you try to drop your prices any lower, you're not gonna be really making any money at all on the service that you are trying to close a sale on. And when you do this, you have to be able to turn the table on the client by using persuasion. So in this perspective, the client comes back to you and says that you're charging way too much money for the service, you can easily just say something, for example, such as, yes, I am expensive, and I know my competitors are going to be cheaper and can offer something similar for your liking, but I charge what I charge because I provide a high quality value and service to my work that my competitors cannot. Now this is just a small example of persuasion you can use on a potential client to try and help separate you from your competitors by using your value and experience and trying to just basically say, yes, you are expensive, but the value and the expertise that you offer is nothing like what your competitors can offer. Now another method you can consider, especially if you're in the wedding industry, is trying to come up with a payment plan that's suitable for both you and the client. As a photographer and a videographer in the wedding industry, I typically don't really use this method, but it is something to consider if you're trying to close a sale with a client, because typically a couple is gonna to come to you many months in advance before their wedding date to book you. And you can use those months in between the day that they first start talking to you to the wedding day to create a payment plan for them that's gonna be more convenient for their budget, which will make you more attractive because you're willing to work with them on the pricing and the budget that they have for their wedding. Now, if you're gonna go with the payment plan method, make sure that you add all the details of that payment plan into your service agreement that the client is going to sign. You wanna make sure that both you and the client are in full transparency about what this payment plan is going to be, how much the client is gonna owe you every single month up until it is fully paid. Now, the most important thing that you need to be able to make sure that you know, besides smashing the like button for this video for YouTube's algorithm, is making sure that you know when to walk away from any negotiation. Now, while this isn't the way you want things to end, you need to make sure that you're doing what's best for the sake of your business, but more importantly, for yourself. 
because your time and hard effort is gonna be worth it to somebody else, that they are gonna be willing to pay what you are wanting to charge for your services. If you have been successful in closing a sale with somebody that told you that you were too expensive, I wanna hear about it in the comment section down below. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and consider liking this video as well as subscribing to my channel. I'm gonna be coming out with more content just like this very soon, talking about photography and wedding videography. So with that, thank you guys very much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video.